Right, so, rad. How do you build it? Well, you want to start with a 3x4 hole. Decide which end you want to be the front. And once you've decided that, go one block in from the middle and two blocks down. Then go one block to the right, two blocks back. Slap a block there in like the middle area kind of. Back one more and up one. Place redstone in a very tall L shape. Place a piston with a uh, slime block on top. Sorry, sticky piston with a slime block. Then use any uh, glazed terracotta to surround that uh, uh, slime block. Go two blocks up in the back end. Then fill in with any block uh, these open holes here. Uh, and then put an upside down stair here. You could use any transparent block here, but I prefer to use the stair so that it blocks vision down into the depths of the machine. You then want to put, again, you could use any um, transparent block here, but I prefer the glass. And then you put redstone on top. You put a block here, a target block here. Sticky piston facing towards the front and a slime block. Finally, you put a button right on this front block here. And there you go. That's how you build it. So here is its distance as well as its height and the actual arc it takes you through the air. You can see that the largest uh, pit you could cross is nine blocks. And that's if you're not covering the redstone up. Otherwise, if you have blocks here to hide the redstone, then you can only go eight blocks across. As for going up, it's, I think, yeah, just after the halfway point is where you can start landing on the sixth block up. Your feet go up into the seventh block, but you can't actually land on anything up there because, well, anything you could land on, your feet are in. Now over here, I have a version that removes the need to cover up any redstone on the front. It is already done for you so that you can you can get that full nine block gap. Uh, the one downside to it is you don't get the button in the front so that you're looking the direction you launch. You actually have to look behind and to the side to press the button in the back. And that's basically just achieved by, here's the button, two redstone dust, repeater on two ticks, into a block, that's this one, that goes into this redstone dust, which powers this piston. The pistons are in the same spot as the regular rad, however, you'll notice the back end is slightly different, where we don't have a block sticking out on either side, and instead of a target block to power this piston we have just like a small torch tower here and that brings me to the final small downside of this that I personally do not mind is that when you push the button it takes just a moment for it to fire as opposed to this one which is instant the moment you push that button you're getting flung to the air so anyways that's basically all there is to this video and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one or something. Bye-bye.